this thing growing inside me. I've been fighting it for six hard years. Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon Syndrome. She was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? And Jack had taken her away from me. How the fuck did this happen, Morton? How is it possible they managed to take her? Paul, this is your illness talking. I'm on your side. Ugh. Ugh. Easy, you're... They took her. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could. But there are forces within Monarch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. Uh, sir? Uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there. I want to go over Sophia's figures. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. You know the future. Dr. Emerald doesn't. Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedules were all. Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? The people opposing you. She could be one of them. She isn't. Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. How do you want to proceed? Somebody was working against me. Somebody close. Martin Hatch. Sophia Amaral. I could only trust one of them. I want to remember him. Immediately. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. Martin had been my closest advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. Evidence was mounting against Sophia. I couldn't simply ignore it, despite everything we had been through. But she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. And then she took them away. If she'd turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable. Sophia's date has always been good. I'll trust her judgment. We need to analyze these figures and make final preparations to activate the lifeboat protocol at once. Fine. I'll take the laptop to the science department. No, I think I'll do that myself. I see. Sir? Put people on Mr. Hatch. I want constant eyes on him. Yes, sir. You got it. We pulled some images from the security cameras. We've identified Joyce's accomplice. She's Beth Wilder, one of our mid-level operatives. Her. My God, she's been with us all along. She's working with Jack. Where is she now? Unknown. But we've got a kill team tracking her. No, 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 no. She can't be killed. Not yet. Find her. And whatever Mr. Hatch does, I want to know about it. Don't screw this up. Beth Wilder. It was the first time I'd heard her name. But she had been there in the past. 
when it all started. She'd been here the whole time, working against me from the inside. And she wasn't the only one. The treatments, they're losing their effectiveness. There's no changing the inevitable. Time is just one closed loop. And no matter what I do, time ends. I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? This is Dr. Amaral's report. The stutters, they're, they're increasing in frequency. What is that? A chronon disrupted life form. Extremely hostile. It's Dr. Kim. Let's go! Let's go! No, 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 You took the one thing Mr. Serene needed to survive, Dr. Amaral. That made you priority one. Yeah, they made that clear. Monarch lined every escape route with barricades, roadblocks. I had to get to the mainland, but I couldn't do it by car. Needed a new plan. All right, let's go. Beth, I think I'm gonna need a ride. The streets are too hot. All right, where do you want me? I'll let you know as soon as I find some higher ground and get a good look at the situation on the bridge. I think it might be a no-go. I'm looking at the bridge right now. It's a lot of Monarch. I don't know, maybe you could sneak across? Well, maybe. Or I could pick you up. Let me know. Pretty exposed out here, so try to make it fast. I'll be a lot better when you get me on that boat. Monarch's right on my ass. I'm not exactly making friends out here. How's Dr. Amaral? Still kicking and screaming. How long do you need to get here? That depends. Let me check. Paul. What the actual fuck? Better get inside before the chopper spots me. Joyce or Wilder. Doing another sweep. I can't stay here long, Jack. You're gonna need to be quick. Yeah, about that. Some bad news? Reoccurring theme of the night. I'm looking at the bridge right now. If I go anywhere near that thing, there's gonna be innocent people caught in the crossfire. All right. Any Thanks ideas? for your patience, folks. We'll have you on your way again soon. Uh, let me see. There's a pier under the bridge. You should be able to meet me there with the boat. Giant gas sign out front. Can't miss it. It's nice and bright for Monarch to see. There's not a lot of options. Switching to Monarch frequencies. Be in touch soon. I'll be there in a few minutes. Don't stand me up. Okay, how are we getting down there? Where's the fire pole? For those of you just tuning in, the manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce, the suspect in last night's university terror attack. Joyce may also have been involved in a firefight at the Monarch Mansion on Gull Island approximately 30 minutes ago. On the line, we have Ken McCowski, the bridge operator from the Bridge. Ken, what can you tell us about the situation? 
just want to give a shout out to my little guy. Amen. Uh, excuse me, sir. We're helping the police looking for a terrorist. Now, have you seen anything out of the ordinary? Is that the guy who blew up the library? Um, James Joyce? Jack Joyce, yeah. Do you see anything out of the ordinary? Well, I mean, there's a sports car coming in the street. security personnel if you have anything to report. I plan to meet Beth went out the window as soon as the stutter hit. Her boat couldn't get to you? No. But it gave me an opportunity to climb up on the bridge and cross it. Slip right past Monarch, more or less undetected. I should get up on that bridge and make my way across it before the stutter ends. scene on the bridge was unreal. They weren't cops. They had no authority to do this. But the Monarch PR machine had done its job. Here they were, the heroes protecting everybody. And you were the terrorist. Yeah.
Okay, good. That's cool. I just gotta make it across this damn bridge and I'll be clear. This is so bad. I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground in the deck of the cargo ship was my best bet. Just had to find a way down. <gasps> Frozen crash was a mess. Somehow, I had to find my way across. Hope for the best. I kept heading downwards, towards the cargo ship. The route down wasn't exactly user-friendly. The fracture was getting much worse. Timelines getting scrambled caught in violent loops, off sync, crashing into each other. This was what the end of time would look like. Everything was broken, in chaos, frozen, and no one would know. Nice boat. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. was escalating. Objects were moving out of time, out of order, entire timelines overlapping. And it was going to get worse, unless we could stop it. 